Hello and good morning guys. Welcome to my morning routine or a morning in the life of. I thought it could be a bit of fun to share with you what I do in preparation for my day. And today is a work day. I'm starting the morning at 6.57, which I do most mornings. I get woken up by Darcy coming into our room to do the toilet and then he comes in for a little quick snuggle. Oh my God, look how cute he is. <laughs> he was fun. He said, film me, mummy. I want to pull for me faces. Then we head off to go and have some breakfast and get the kids dressed. And I thought this was actually a really funny clip of Darcy trying to take full frame and play silly buggers with sticking his tongue out. I just couldn't cut this part out. This was just far too adorable. So I give the boys two options when it comes to picking their clothes for the day, but because it's been so cold lately, I said he had to wear a jumper and this is when shiz hit the fan. It's moments like this that just take time in the morning and patience and he eventually came around to the idea but it's one of those things as a parent you have to make the best decision for your child because you don't want them getting sick so there was still an ongoing debate of no I don't want to wear it but we eventually got there and then after I did that he asked for a little cuddle which was the most adorable thing ever and we also play silly buggers just to lighten the mood back up again. <laughs> God he's so cute. Between 7 and 7.30 is usually when the boys will head off to daycare on our daycare days. Um, but if it was a normal mum life day, we would just spend some time sitting in the lounge room together um, or playing trains, which is a favourite at the minute. Um, and Winnie this morning just didn't want to come over and say goodbye, but we got there in the end um, and made sure their bags were all packed and ready to go. And then they drove off to daycare and it was my turn to start getting myself ready and finally go to the toilet. <laughs> Popping on some slippers because it was so blooming cold this morning. And I start my breakfast and my coffee, of course, which is most important. This morning I decided to eat some leftover Easter eggs and also eat some hot cross buns while they're still in stock. Also fueling my body with lots of water because I forget to drink that on work days. I then move on to a bit of work before I get myself ready. I reply to lots of DMs and comments on videos and just ensure that my uploads are scheduled for that day. At this point, it's around 8.30 that I start to get ready for the day. I have my lovely, long, warm shower in peace, which is the best part. And then I move on to my skincare routine. Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, today, I wanted to share with you a realistic morning routine for me. Um, it can vary on the days where I'm mum and when I'm working, um, and it would just be impossible to film it while I'm mum. So today, I'm going to show you um, what my morning routine kind of looks like. It's very similar on the days when I'm a mum, but sometimes I just don't shower. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Um, but I do always make sure to do my skincare, which I'm about to do. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that today we've very kindly been sponsored by Love From Yours to show you guys the products that I use on my skin. And I hands down don't use anything else. I genuinely believe in their brand beliefs and the whole system of why Nav, who's the creator of Love From Yours, um, created the products because she, um, her husband I should say, had a lot of acne issues and they were finding that a lot of the products on the market were just reproduced, reproduced um, the same product just in different different bottles. I'm so excited to share with you guys. We've got a bunch of new goodies that has just come in the mail from them because I actually just run out. The awesome thing with um, Love From Yours is it's all personalized skincare. So all you have to do is go onto their website and take a little quiz. You can also upload a photo online and that way the experts can have a bit of a look and maybe make some recommendations. The quiz will go through things like how much water you drink, what's your work environment, your home environment, are you an aircon, are you not? 
not. And the system is so incredibly smart, it actually tells the system to organize different products based upon your environment. So it will um, check the weather report in your location and um, when you're due the next subscription, it will adjust. So my um, previous skincare routine, which is currently sitting right here, I always have it the calamity that I didn't want to have. Good job, Katie. Um, but what I was saying was the previous load that they sent out to me um, would have obviously been from the summer heat. So they knew that my environment was very um, hot, humid, and all of that stuff, and I was probably a lot more dehydrated. Whereas this time we are coming into the cooler months and my location has changed now, obviously I've moved house. So they've sent out a new routine um, and I've got a bunch of different um, products in there that I didn't have in the last tubes. So for one, I've seen niacinamide, which evens out skin tone and lightens dark spots. Some more vitamin C. Um, there's a bunch of ingredients in there, sorry, a bunch of ingredients in there that's been personalized for me that definitely weren't in the last one because I had a look at the card and some of them weren't there. Okay, so sometimes in the morning I will um, wash my face in the shower. I have one of these in the shower, which I don't know if you'll be able to see through the water stains. Um, but for this morning I wanted to do it out here because obviously I was naked and that wouldn't have been a nice sight for you guys. Um, so I put two pumps in my hand of the foam and then I just wet my face. Sometimes I will use a face cloth if I've got like makeup or really oily skin that day, but majoritively I just use my hand. And once I've done that, I just pat dry my face and then I go in with the new toner, which is a new addition to the routine. It's only been a few weeks. Um, so it's a little liquid like that. I tend to do three to four pumps because it is quite liquefied. And then I just rub it all over my hands like that <laughs> and just rub that all over the skin okay so next we're going to go in with our am serum which is the new one for me um like i said i used to have the drop of softness this one is the drop of light which has changed the ingredients due to the change of weather oh wow look it's orangey yellow it looks like um caramel that's cool my old one used to look like it was just clear, I think. Let's see what the PM one looks like. I won't put too much. Yeah, that's the color that the old one used to be as well. Then we're gonna go in with the Due Date Moisturizer. So that's my daytime um, moisturizer. I put three pumps on that. I tend to do two normally, but I accidentally did a third then, so we'll go with it. And also, depends on your skin, you can get away with only doing one pump of these things as well. They're very generous in terms of they spread out quite a lot. And then we're going to try a new product, which is the I Love You Serum, and that's to go under your eyes. Oh, it's got a little ball roller. Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, that feels lovely and cooling. There you have it. That is my morning routine. If you guys wanted to see my nighttime routine, I have a video on that on my TikTok, which you are welcome to check out and see what products I use from Love From Yours in the nighttime. Um, but if you guys wanted to check out Love From Yours, I highly recommend it. It's done wonders for my skin. I actually get complimented all the time on how my skin looks so flawless and it really is because I've been consistent with the Love From Yours products and I genuinely think the ingredients and everything in it is so nourishing for my skin and gentle. So if you guys did want to try it out, I have a code for you. It's Katie15 and that saves you 15% off any of the skincare that you want to trial. Um, you can either set up a subscription or you can try one-off products. Okay, now that my skincare is done, I'm going to go in and start on my makeup. I apologize that the lighting in here is so bad. It is such an overcast day today and even my ring light is struggling to light my face. 
and I have the room light on and it's like terrible. It's one of those old lights that just puts out no light. Now you guys have seen my skincare before and it really hasn't changed all that much, if anything. But I have had a few people requesting, particularly on TikTok, which I have sent over here. This is the all time favorite foundation. I need to go get more, like look at that. <laughs> Almost out. I'm actually due a Gold Coast trip, so I'm gonna go and head into Sephora. I think this was from Sephora. Maybe it was Mecca Maxima. I think it was Sephora though. Um, okay, so we're gonna put a pump either side. I'm actually a skin shade darker than this now. This was based on my winter skin, which I'm no longer obviously after summer. The same shade. Um, and I just take my buffing brush and pop that all over my face. Next I go in with the Sephora Colour and Sculpt Stick Bronzer. In a world full of sorrow. You watched a world from sculpt the that double chin, babe. <laughs> Just use the same brush because it's kind of still got some of that foundation on and it helps to blend it a little bit. And it's literally the same routine every day with my makeup. I don't like to put too much on. Um, some would say that this is probably more than they would do. Um, but for me, compared to what I used to do, this is very minimal. And it's also a very quick routine, so I can quickly like whip it out with the kids as well. I just take a really fluffy brush and at the moment I'm using the Stay Matte, Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, powder. I don't overly love it, like it doesn't, I don't find that it's too mattifying, but maybe that's a good thing, because we do like a dewy look, you know? I'm just not wowed by the product, like sometimes I can't even tell if it's made a difference. It's interesting too, since doing a lot more skincare um, as of the past year and then doing makeup I've noticed that there's obviously a lot more dewiness to my skin underneath my makeup which makes a lot of sense um, but that's honestly a lot of how I get that highlights now like instead of having a product that highlights my skin it's just genuine genuinely um, the glowiness from my skincare which is awesome next I use the Rimmel Kate the Rimmel London Kate palette I genuinely use this every single day. I am down to the pan on the highlight stuff um, and I'm almost down to the pan as you can see on the brown stuff as well. So I just take a little bit more of the brown and I just direct it in the same area as the other one. And then I take a smaller fluffy brush for the pink one Smile, smile my boy, smile my boy. Name that quote. <laughs> Don't tell me in the comments where that's from. I'll be very impressed if you know. Do you guys have the same makeup routine every day? And same for skincare actually, I'd love to know in the comments because for many years, like before I had kids and stuff, I didn't have any routine. Um, next I'm taking an old BH Cosmetics palette. I think this cost me like $30 back in the day. Um, I've currently lost or misplaced my eyebrow palette since moving here. So I'm using these two browns, um, this one and this one, these two. Um, and I just kind of touch in them both to do my eyebrows. I'm going to have to look this way at over the mirror on my left because I can't do it in the viewfinder. I prefer a powder for my eyes, um, my eyebrows I mean, because it's just a fluffier look to me and less defined, which I prefer. Now I'm going to leave my eyeshadow bare because I have to film a video today where I'm going to be doing different coloured looks and I want to match my eyeshadow to that so I don't want to go putting another layer on right now. Um, but normally I just rub some brown in there. And then my all-time favourite lipstick, um, which 
nine times out of ten you'll see me wearing is the Superstay Matte Ink um, Maybelline and I love this it's a great shade goes with pretty much anything and everything but again because I'm filming different looks today I don't want something to mattify it becomes like a layer on your lips and you don't feel it when it's there but it's an impossible task to get off without a lot of scrubbing so I'm going to use the uh, Maybelline just normal lipsticks the matte lipsticks lush for lust for blush I should say number 665 Beautiful, beautiful babe. And that is literally all that I do for my makeup. It's a very simple process. So now that the makeup is all done, I'll probably go and pick my outfit first and then we can do my hair once my dress is on. Um, I'll probably just do a little bit of curls and um, you can have a look in my wardrobe, which is just chock a block. I have so many clothes in my study as well like this. This is all stuff that I've recently worked on or shown. There's also my formal stuff, like dresses and things in there. And then in this one is all of my winter jackets, jumpers and things. So we're gonna leave this space and we're gonna go down into my bedroom to get dressed. I have a bag still to unpack. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> we're gonna ignore the mess everywhere else in the room. This is where all of most, like all of most, the most of my day dresses are that I kind of tend to flick through. Um, it, it can also be sometimes going out dresses like, you know, this one, for example, I'm not gonna be wearing that every day. Um, but what do I wanna wear today? What do I feel like wearing? It's a bit nice. Or do I want to go a skirt and a jumper? Cardigan thing. This is the tough part about having a lot of clothes, is you just don't know what to wear. Oh, Affinity and Co dress. I do love the checker on that. That with a little white cardi. So we're going to go with this dress from Affinity and Co. Um, I think it may still be one that you can get your hands on. Um, if you haven't heard of Fendi & Co, she, Tracy, who owns it, is the most beautiful lady and um, she has the most stunningly, very oversized dresses as well. So the sizing there, I find, if anything, you would size down, but most of the time it's pretty accurate, the sizing. If you have any questions though, she'd be happy to help. Because it's a little bit chilly today, I've got my slippers on. Little cardio over the top of it. All right, let's put it on. And voila, I have the gorgeous outfit on. Very chic with the slippers on. <laughs> but I actually really like it. It's very cutesy. Girl next door. A very chic vibe. Right, this room is a disaster zone behind me. Let's make my bed and give that a quick clean before we get into our work day. <laughs> A little tip for you, I always use my air freshener from Mask. I spritz that on the bottom sheet and then I spritz it on the top as well. Not sponsored, but I have worked with them in the past. I just freaking love their product. Regardless of if I've washed my hair or not, I will blow dry it with the hair dryer. Does anybody else do this? Um, just because I'm, when I put my hair up in the shower, underneath my hair 
gets really wet and then the top of my hair it's actually not too bad today because I washed it I think yesterday or the day before um, but sometimes I'll put Bastis shampoo in my hair and then I will blow dry it in but today I'm just gonna blow dry it because I help it helps me to like kind of flatten it out without having to just take the hot on hot iron hot curler <laughs> onto it oh my god my brain okay so let's blow, blow. shut up Katie <laughs> I really don't do it for long whoa <laughs> but I find it just breaks up the um, grease and it just makes it more stylable so that I can go and curl my hair now how cute are these scrunchies my friend and her daughter um, who by the way is four years old her daughter is four um, they have a scrunchie and like hair accessories business and it's her daughter's business and her daughter sews them so <laughs> I will link her below because it's just so adorable. Um, so I've got my GHD. I chuck up half of my hair in that cute little scrunchie. Um, and then I just curl the bottom half, but not all of it. Like I don't care if I miss some because it kind of gives it that um, really cute bitsy vibe. Actually, I forgot. We do need to, where is it? Um, straighten the ends first. My hair is so badly in need of a cut, I need to find a new hairdresser, but I can't lift. Memories are chasing pretty much it for what my morning routines look like. From this point on, I would get stuck into filming something or starting to reply to comments um, if I hadn't already while I was having my breakfast. If it was a mum day, however, I probably would go on out, um, spend the day in the garden, maybe catch up with a friend, take the kids to the park, um, and you know what else mum life is like. Um, but today is a work day, so I'm about to go to the shops, get some props for a video that I've got to film, um, and I'm going to chuck my cardigan on outside, but inside I was boiling because I was using my heating tools. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, a little bit of an insight into what my mornings look like. I'd love to hear in the comments what your morning routine looks like, or what part of my routine that you may start to implement or also do yourself. If you did enjoy it, please go down and hit the thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and of course, subscribing. 
to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you once again to Love From Yours for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in trying them for yourself, I'll have them linked down below. And of course you can use my Katie 15 discount for 15% off your order. And come let me know what your thoughts are on their products and I'll see you really soon for another video. Bye guys.